Welcome to International Geneva. A report last year showed that one in three cocaine deliveries in Switzerland arrive within 30 minutes of time. That's faster than pizza delivered to your doorstep. I will talk to Ud Dreyfus, the chair of the Global Commission on Drug Policy and former Swiss federal councillor on Switzerland's drug problem and global policies. Ms. Dreyfus, uh, this is the first uh, Geneva Drug Policy Week, the first of its kind ever. Which do you hope to see in terms of the major outcomes? To bring people and agencies, institutions together. This is very important. Geneva is an ecosystem for, for human rights, health, uh, and many other things like uh, migration and even security. And bringing together the institution, intergovernmental institution, the NGOs who are here, and the global population, I would say, interested in drug policy, is the aim of this, uh, of this week. You are the chair now of the uh, Global Commission on Drug Policy after uh, Kofi Annan. And uh, the commission is basically a panel of intellectuals and former uh, state leaders. It aims to reduce the harm uh, dr uh, caused by drug use. Which are the main items you're hoping to push? The commission is a group of 26 uh, members co-opted people who just feel the great necessity to advocate for changes in drug policy on the base, basis, I would say, of the positive experience they could do in decriminalization drug consumption, in, uh, in uh, changing also, uh, regulating some markets, in putting health as a priority. And also some of my colleagues uh, think that they didn't understand very well what uh, was drug policy in the time they were in power. And they want now really to uh, change the things and to, yeah, to advocate for reforms. One of uh, the problems though with uh, the commission is that it lacks implementation power to implement uh, the drug control policies. What can be done to bring this uh, to another level? What, uh, what is not uh, enough is the will to change, the will to recognize that uh, 50 years of drug policy has failed. The aim was to eradicate the production, to reduce strongly the, the consumption, to fight against international criminal organization, and you see the result today, more production, more consumption, more products, and an empowered criminal uh, world. So first of all, break the taboo, speak about that, analyze the situation, and look for change. So change in different uh, issues, uh, public health, I would say first, that was the first discovery that uh, drug policy was fueling the AIDS epidemic, that it is a catastrophe for so many people, I mean, uh, uh, who, because they are criminalized, have also uh, greater harms consuming drugs, until uh, till, till, uh, the need also to retake the control of these markets. Because, I mean, the drugs are prohibited, but in reality, it is clear the state has lost the control. But do you really see the political will change now and that we have a different view and strategy when it comes to combating the uh, use of drugs? I would say there are progress, but the discussion inside the international community has become very hard. We have uh, some countries who don't want to change uh, anything and others who are really uh, cautiously and uh, with, uh, oft with uh, the support of scientific uh, community uh, to change. So the discussion on the international level is, uh, I mean, uh, more than in the past where it was just a taboo. The situation was uh, not really uh, understood and, and, and fought uh, for, for better. Now, I would say on national level, there are a lot of change, a uh, lot of changes. 
either health politic or criminal laws. But what is uh, the most uh, important, I would say, is on the international level, how to make a collaboration effective in the fight against criminal organization. Uh, in the meantime, letting the countries find solution for health and for human rights. This is uh, where we stand now. And I think uh, the collaboration is very important on the uh, fight against uh, organized crime. And in terms of concrete uh, drug policies, uh, which ones do you think are the most important? Because the uh, Drug Commission thinks that uh, the global war on drugs has failed. Yeah, that's, that's evident. I mean, uh, you just have to, to see the statistic to know that uh, it has failed. The Global Commission is, uh, uh, was a, a work in progress, I would say. First of all, it was the health policy aspect. And we know now what we have to do, mainly for, for instance, for opiates and so on. We have to invent perhaps new measures and new treatments for other drugs. But I mean, this priority is, I think, uh, absolutely evident. It should be the priority in all countries. Then decriminalization of the consumption. There is absolute no right for a state to decide that somebody who takes risk for himself without uh, harming other people should be criminalized. I mean, we should criminalize alpinism in that case uh, because there are more people dying in, in uh, trekking or, or climbing mountains than people dying by drugs. In terms of these uh, businesses, uh, where geographically are the biggest problems and maybe also in terms of businesses, which ones are responsible for that? As a joke, I would answer the big problem is that uh, the planet is, uh, is, uh, is a ball because the routes can go everywhere. I mean, we have routes from Asia through Africa to Europe. We have uh, roads uh, through Russia and the north. We have roads from Latin America uh, direct to Europe or through Africa. I mean, if you make a picture of all the traffic roads, uh, you will see that they are uh, very flexible also. Let's uh, stay with the topic of cocaine because uh, we have a huge problem here in Switzerland as well. The uh, Global Drugs Survey last year showed that uh, we can access cocaine faster than getting pizza deliveries to your home basically within uh, 30 minutes. How big do you see this it's problem It's more or less still? the same uh, way to to order, yes, uh, really and you shocking. can receive it at home. Well, a very important uh, element to take into account is that drugs can be risky, but that the majority of people consume drugs without harm. They control, as you probably would control uh, drinking alcohol. I'm sh I don't know. But I would say many, many people at, uh, are drinking a glass of wine with great pleasure and are not alcoholic. The same is with, uh, with drugs. So when you speak about the big problem, yes, cocaine is now, from the harder drugs, probably uh, the most consumed in Switzerland. Uh, it has replaced uh, partly uh, also heroin, who is no longer the the problem number or the substance number one. But still it's surprising that uh, so many Swiss cities uh, are you know, ranking among the top 10 yeah. in Europe when it comes to cocaine use. Zurich, for example, mm -hmm. is second after Barcelona. So how to really regulate and control the use of cocaine better because it can With become a dangerous addiction. It is a private choice. It can be harmful. It is not always uh, harmful. So the state, in my view, should help the people as we do. I mean, do you know one substance which is risky, which is not regulated by the state when we, don't, when we exclude the illegal drugs, the list of the illegal drugs? 
don't we control alcohol? Is not the quality of alcohol better now because it's under the control of the state? Cigarette. Didn't we make uh, progress in cigarettes uh, with the international convention, with prevention, with the possibility and the, 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 the prohibition to smoke in public uh, spaces with, uh, when other peoples could be harmed and so on? Medicine. Aren't we controlling medicine? Aren't we controlling ke chemicals? So yes, I uh, and my commission is advocating very strong for uh, effective and cautious regulation of this project because uh, of this product because we cannot let them in criminal hands. If we talk about national policies and Switzerland in specific, which drug policies should the government here take uh, additional ones and also to fight drug trafficking because at the moment there are still some five tons of cocaine circulating in Switzerland every year. I think the main role of Switzerland in the, in the international drug trafficking or the main task is really to look that uh, uh, money laundering is not possible. It is clearly to support countries in the fight against corruption, which uh, often is also linked with, uh, with financing uh, flow. Uh, inside the country, I think we, we have really to look that uh, the bosses who are responsible for the import uh, are uh, repressed. Uh, I don't think that it makes a lot of sense to concentrate all the means, all the police power, uh, towards consumers, towards uh, little dealers. This is a fight that uh, is not easy to win, but it's also a fight that doesn't bring uh, the solution. So as a former Swiss uh, federal councillor and a Swiss uh, president, do you think that the government here has failed in its war on drugs? No, I think the government has taken the good decision in putting health first, in uh, helping people uh, who need uh, support and treatment to access to this. It has helped uh, to recreate uh, uh, a more cohesive and secure society when I compare with the 80s. It has uh, now, uh, for instance, a contamination rate uh, from AIDS uh, that is at the same lo level between uh, drug consumers and the global population. It is not a failure at all, and we made great progress in the fight against uh, money laundering with, uh, first of all, we ratified a convention, an international convention, uh, the 88 uh, convention, on uh, which has one of the necessity is the control of money laundering. We have also ratified this, uh, ratifying the same convention, taken commitment to fight against what is called pre precursor, that is the product that can lead to the uh, production of, of drugs. So we are, I think we are recognized as good pupils in the international fight against criminal organization. But we are at risk because we are a country with a great uh, banking system and we are in a country where uh, money is coming and, and, and going. So yes, the, we, are, we are good in that. The fight against uh, the criminal organization cannot be fought just in one country. Currently, Vienna and uh, New York are the main cities where drug policies are being discussed. How can Geneva become a main center? The main center is really Vienna with the Commission on Narcotic Drugs and uh, the uh, control organ uh, for uh, the compliance of the different countries, if they make what they promise to do, and the UN organization called UNODC. Yes, Vienna is the center. Uh, Vienna is also the center for general crime uh, f uh, fighting against. 
uh, and it should uh, probably be more aware about the flexibility of the criminal organization. If they are not on drugs, they might be on something else. They are very flexible. They are businessmen, but business, they are good businessmen in the sense to earn money, but they are bad businessmen because they don't care for the people in the country. They care only for their money. This is the reason why we have to fight against them, but it's also the reason why we have to take them uh, the drug market away. Now, Geneva is a center mainly for health and human rights. And this is very important because the most harm that were done in the 50 last years to people and to societies are harms caused because, because human rights and health issues in the drug policy were not taken really uh, seriously.